I was hired at the Grover Center in 2017, a farmer parent called me from East Jordan, and she was interested in getting some garden lesson supplies for us. And because I had come from this organization based in Traverse City that had a lot of resources already, including edible schoolyard resources, which if you're not familiar, is the Farm to School Training by renowned author and Farm to School Advocate, Alice Waters. We also had food core resources, as well as some developed by TVAISD and the Groundwork Center. She took those resources and ran, and the next thing I knew, she was sending me pictures of their youth council leading their monthly tastings with seasonal Michigan produce. Not long after that, at a local Food Alliance potluck, I met Melissa Lyons, a school food champion, East Jordan Public Schools food service staff, and I learned that she loves Alice Waters. In fact, she emailed me in all caps excitedly when she won a free ticket to see Alice speak in the, the fall of 2017. And that's when the bells went off in my mind. Ding, 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 we have our school food champions. Groundwork Center partners with the Health Department of Northwest Michigan on what's called Building Healthy Communities. And this program provides stipends to help build infrastructure in places like schools to sustain the site's ability to provide healthy food especially fruits and vegetables. So Eastern Public Schools became a Building Healthy Community site for the 17-18 grant cycle, and then they returned for the 18-19 cycle. And at the outset, Linda Moore of the Health Department, who was here earlier, she knew that the school wanted to build a school garden. But, I, so that's how I approached them. Here, we've got this stipend, let's build a garden. But they had gotten some funding from the Shawboy County Community Foundation for the garden. So we were able to easily shift that funding so we could get some equipment for their kitchen so that she could continue her passion of making scratch food for the school, middle high school and elementary school. In the second year, they got herbs, soil, planters, stainless steel pots for more homemade soup, and a water dispenser. On top of the Building Healthy Communities Funds, Groundwork secured community foundation funding to support schools in the county with some more education and farm school. That allowed us to do a crock pot cooking class with families at the school in October of 2018. We used a similar model to what we did in the Boyne Falls Public Schools, and that, in and of itself, turned into a series of cooking classes that the Man of Food Project did, crock pot classes, then they did blender classes, then they did electric skillet classes. So a lot of ripple effects going on with these things. Um, so we had streamlined this crock pot class kit, and we were able to use that template in the school. The evening included a cooking demonstration and a simple soup supper. The nurse updated the families on basic nutrition tips while students made our salad for dinner, which was super cute. <laughs> families went home with ingredients, a crock pot, knife set, measuring utensils, cutting board, and all the things they need to do more stretch with the apple. We also in the spring invited the teachers to the garden. We called it a staff appreciation party. And we wanted to get them familiar with the garden so that they would use it as a tool with their students. We did a lesson in the garden that consisted of a blind competitive taste test with herbs, and the winner got a crock pot. <laughs> also, with building healthy community funds, we were able to provide some dollars to send the kitchen staff to the National Farm to Cafeteria Conference in Cincinnati, Ohio in 2018. And Melissa came back with information on using the garden even more and continued her inspiration to serve local product in the school. It also helped to get her here to farm school. So it not only takes equipment, education, and people who are passionate, but I also want to mention policy. And there's a macro version and a micro version of policy that I want to talk about. But first, the micro. The health department had worked with the school years ago on adapting their school wellness policy, which is no small task. The school was not ready. So a colleague from the health department and I talked on the phone and we strategized you know, how are we going to do this? Many superintendents are fiercely protecting their, uh, the amount of, staff of work that their staff is doing. And so they want to make sure that they comply with whatever they set forth. So what if we had the kitchen staff, who she's already doing this work, present some sample language to the superintendent herself? It's not adding anything extra, but it ensures that when someone else comes into that position, it's there and it's ready, and people will follow suit with serving healthy food. So this idea was well received and fingers crossed in the process, in the works. But then there's also this macro policy. Many years ago at the Groundwork Center, you've probably heard by now, Diane Connors is at the helm of this 10 cents a meal initiative, a reimbursement grant opportunity for school food service directors to buy Michigan fruits, vegetables, and legumes. 
It started out as a pilot in the Grand Traverse area, and now it's in the state budget, and if you haven't heard already, it's at $2 million, both in the state, um, in the Senate, and the House, and we're waiting for that signature. Um, and if you want to stay engaged with the program, you can follow it on social media. There's 10centsmichigan.org there also where you'll find information to talk to legislators, to start taste tests in your school, and more. So there's a lot of information there. East Jordan was awarded 10 cents a meal uh, last year and the year before, so two years in a row, and we're hoping that they apply again. So in short, equipment, education, policy, passionate people all add up to one school.